Another review that hit the site real soon. Mm. A wonderful game by the name of Puck End Tournament has just got a 9 out of 10 on GameSpot.com. Yeah. Did I pronounce that one right, Peter Brand? Yes. Poke, you said that as though I poke chastised end? you. Poke, <laughs> poke end? Poke, you've been poking me poke about end. my pronunciation. Do I? No, you don't. You sit so far away. My arm, I can't. That's true. <laughs> I've, I've, I'm just transitioning back from Ireland mode as well, so I'm saying all my words wrong. One, two, three. Uh, poke end tournament, nine out of ten. Tomorrow Hussein reviewed it. Tomorrow Hussein is first review for us. Oh, so, nice. really? I know. It wow. seems crazy because yeah, he's yeah. a really smart dude. Yeah, and he's been around for, for a good while too. Uh, nine out of ten. It's a fighting game. It is a fighting mm-hmm. game. It is a 3D fighting game. It is a 3D slash 2D fighting game. Okay, so in the re- like Tekken and whatnot. Uh, no, it? Tekken is 3D. Okay. Um, so in the middle of a battle, uh, if you do a certain amount of damage or you perform a certain move, it goes from this sort of 3D all range mode to a 2D plane or Pokemon or fighting, sort of similar to Street Fighter, where cool. you can move back and forth. Then you can break out of that again and go back to the field phase. Yep. Uh, so you've been playing a bunch of this as well. You obviously didn't review it for I, us. But. I have played a bunch. I'm not mm. currently playing it anymore. Um, there's a lot going on. But the game is really fun. When I sat down with it for the first time, I had sort of looked at it as one of those Naruto fighting games mm-hmm. um, because it kind of just resembled it like on a really general, like broad level. Um, but one, it's a little bit different because it has those two phases. But also, as someone who who's liked Pokemon over the years and it continues to kind of like it, mm. but my appreciation has been waning maybe a little bit, this was like okay, wow, I actually have control over Pokemon directly. And as Tor points out, like you're interacting with these Pokemon in real time like against each other. It actually feels like you would imagine a Pokemon battle would be because mm. it's what, I mean, yeah, we like collecting Pokemon and I guess fighting in them is kind of fun. But really there's, you know, saying like Pikachu, do a lightning bolt. Like <laughs> yeah. that's not that fun to actually just like do the lightning bolt as Pikachu, right? And then keep going and keep fighting and not waiting your turn. So uh, that and many other reasons, the game's really good. Are there still humans shouting orders at you? Not anymore? No. So you're just doing YOLO? You're just like, whatever, I'm a Pokemon, I'm free? Yeah. You don't feed me puffins anymore? Feed you puffins? Is that what they were? (laughs) What? (laughs) You know what a puffin is, right? Yeah. Like a miniature penguin? Yeah, I'm just misinterpreting a very funny YouTube video from a couple of years back. Oh. <laughs> um, as he also mentioned in his review lots of like v- mode variety, which is somebody who bought Street Fighter V and has been <laughs> and <then they're> frustrated <laughs> by the, uh, the what, lack. lack of mode variety. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that sounds interesting to me. So is there loads of different ways to play this game, multiplayer and single player? Is loads fair? I don't know if loads is fair. I mean, you've got... There's definitely some, and I know that the story or whatnot The Ferrum was... League is you sort of just like climb a ladder. It's like climbing a tower in Mortal Kombat, mm-hmm. right. right? You know, that, that kind of thing. Is Shang Tsung at the top? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Goro? No. Is he not a Pokemon? Yes, he could be a Pokemon. No. Uh, doesn't like... Oh, what is it? Or... Machamp? <laughs> Machamp looks like Goro, man. He's got four arms. Come on. Um... Yeah, I mean, honestly, there aren't that many modes, but there's at least the modes you would expect. Let's put it that way. Uh, yeah. Ultra Jari says in the Twitch chat, how many Pokemons are there in Pokin? 16. Which, Gotta catch them all. It's yeah. a lot easier. 16, 17 if you get Mewtwo. Shadow Mewtwo. And then it, that's like your core set, right? And then yeah. you still have your assist uh, Pokemon. Pokemon as well. So it's an assist Pokemon. Uh, so like Jigglypuff? Yeah, you sort of like there's a, a meter that recharges and you can call them in and they do an attack that either like will hurt the enemy or impair them in some way. Like Jigglypuff? They're, yeah. Put him asleep. Well, Jigglypuff's not there. But sure. Damn it! There's also <laughs> annoying heal that Randy was using on me oh, a really? lot. What was that? Uh, well, one of the assists heals you, so he oh, would gain really? his life back. I'm like, man. Yeah. He's like, you could have that too, Eric. I'm like, yeah, I could, but... <laughs> one of the criticisms I have about Pokémon is the, the roster selection, which, like, forget about how they look. Like, whatever. They all play fine. But when I'm looking at the list, it's like, there's a Chandelier Pokémon as one of the, <laughs> the main fighters. <laughs> like, there are 721 Pokémon at this point. Surely there are ones better suited than a freaking Chandelier. <laughs> wow. Hey man. He, ha- how did Chandelier never come up in all, like, the, the many what's the dumbest Pokemon segments we have done on the lobby over the past? Because there are 721 Pokemon. Right. There's Goro. <laughs> there's Goro fighting right there. Yeah. That's my champ. Hey man, Chandelier Pokemon. I don't know his name, sadly, no, but it's probably Chandelier or something. Like, he needed a time. This was one of those times, you know. He's gonna get a time to shine. Now you're gonna remember him for the rest of your life. Yeah. So uh, there you go. They said that there's no plans for DLC right now, really? but I'm calling BS on that because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a gold mine this is gonna be for them. Yeah. If ever there was a game ripe yeah. for DLC. Oh, there you go. It's a Chandelier Pokemon. Yeah, For those of you on the, the podcast, feel free to Google Chandelier Pokemon, and I'm sure this is the first one that'll pop up. It kind of looks like Vanille as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, yeah, stroke the Chandelier Pokemon. Um, I mean, 
Sorry, will say on. I will say the game's like su- super accessible. Yeah. Uh, like anyone can play it and like have fun, mm. but it's it seems like it can get pretty deep too because you know there's counter attacks, kind of like a focus attack in Street Fighter. It's gonna be at Evo, so you know. There's that. It's going to be yeah. Evo, like, legit, or they're doing yeah. it paid for Evo? No, it's one of the... Really? Is it 10 games this year? I it's think one of the 700 games. Over 10 <laughs> games. Oh. It's not 700. There's like, it, it's, like it's double digit. It's like double digit, <laughs> but it's going to be there. Just cool. you wait. Yeah. High level, high level Pokemon tournament. I mean, play. you know, there is room for... Like, if there's high level Smash play, I'd say it's fair to, to say that there could be high level Pokemon play, right? It's just like the barrier to, like, perform a certain move is much easier than something like Street Fighter because it's just a direction and a button. Right. Or yeah. two buttons. Yeah, Timor said it was kind of easy, um, like a good sort of quick one to get into if people don't play fighting games, perhaps. Yeah. Like, yeah. And love them Pokemons. Gotta, gotta love them all. Gotta, gotta catch them Gotta all. buy the pillow case. Can you get Pikachu like pillows? Like love pillows? You know, sleeping pillows? Like I know what you're talking about. Pillows? Like a waifu thought, pillow? Yeah, yeah. Never thought never. Can I get that? No. Can Maybe, you get, what was the I'm guy sure with the, What was the Goro guy? Machamp. Machamp. Did you get like a Machamp one? That'd be good. <laughs> a Jigglypuff with one four actually arms. Perfect. With four arms. You Could love you Jigglypuff. But Jigglypuff puts it to sleep. So if you I couldn't, you just hug it and then go ding, 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 and then like, So if there was like chloroform in there, you could just sort of like have a puff out. Oh, perfect. Like a tiny speaker that the battery kind of slowly went on it. So it was like That'd be really good. You can have that for free, Pokemon Company. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Button. Someone's on it right now. Hey, we just heard a great idea. Uh, the Glitcher, 705, said, this is not directly related to Pokemon. Okay. Do you have any info of when HTC Vive will be on the GDC <laughs> or Valve's The Lab game? <laughs> what? <laughs> I had to ask. I'd gl- love to answer that question. The glitcher asked this question about 7,000 times in the chat. There you go. Okay. Five will be on GDC. The lab. I don't know. Have you seen the lab yet? The lab. Oh, I'm guessing I, I think that's a. It sounds familiar. I'm not sure what it is. No, I'm so I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, Hassan has put in all the games that are Evo this year: Street Fighter Five, Super Mario Bros. You can't them, right? Street Fighter Five, Super Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario Bros. No, Super Smash. Mario Bros. Super <laughs> Smash. Smash. <laughs> Smash. Yeah, Super Mario Speed come runs. into Evo Speed where you runs. fight Goombas. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, right, let's start two. again. Street Fighter Five, Super Mario. Nope. Super Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter Five. Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Melee. Yeah. So Super Smash Bros. There's two Sorry. versions though. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Yeah, there's Melee and Wii U. So that's yeah, two. So two. that's three. Yeah. That's three total now. Guilty Gear. Exert. Exert. Exert yeah. Revelator. Revelation. Or mm. Re- Revelator. Or whatever. Go Mortal ahead. Kombat X. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gonna give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Tournament. Yep. KI. Yep. Ultimate uh, M versus, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yep. You MVC 3. And Tekken 7. Fader oh, nine. Mm. Nine. It's almost all the figures. Where's that double digit? What'll be the last one? Mr. Wizard. What'll be the last Mr. one you put in there? <laughs> what? Mr. Wizard? Yeah, Mr. Wizard. Is that a... He helps, run, he helps run Evo. It's a lacrosse tournament. It was uh, also reference. a show that I watched as a youth where this old man would give science projects to little kids. And Mr. It, Wizard? Yeah, and if they screwed up, he would like... <laughs> he would like talk shit to them on air. Right. <laughs> like, let me show you how to do it. <laughs> Just stupid kid. <laughs> There's great videos on yeah. YouTube of him getting angry at kids. That was Mr. Wizard as well? Mr. Wizard, yeah. You know what right. could be tense, but they're definitely not going to do it. And what? people actually wanted it was Ultra Street Fighter 4. Oh right, mm. but uh, they're not. They're definitely not doing that. Just because Capcom would not want that. No, you want to move to the next. Pl- yeah, now, you got to move to the next platform, man. You got to get push that. Can we talk about the sales of Street Fighter Five real quick? Sure. Two hundred thousand worldwide. Oh God. They wanted two million by March. Yeah, yeah, that's really bad. Wow. I was looking at the Steam. What's it called again? I don't know. The Steam stats thing. I always look, oh, whatever sure. it's called. It's like the one that like tracks all this. And mm-hmm. the PC sales were not that great those first two weeks. Dude, it's bad. It's Super Street Fighter 4, an update to the existing game, sold more in its first few weeks wow, than really? this new Street Fighter 5 did. Man, you just don't want to launch a game broken anymore. Or launch a game well, without, it's without like... It's, it's weird. I wonder... I, I honestly think it was the climate surrounding the game like when it came out. I just feel like people were still okay with Street Fighter 4. 4, really? When 4 came out, we didn't have anything like it for years. And five shows up, and it's sort of like, yeah, like superficially, right? From the outside looking in, it's like, I don't really know what I'm getting that's any different. Yeah. It just looks like, yeah, 3D Street Fighter in a 2D plane. Okay, I get it. Well, also with Street Fighter Five, I remember a while back ago, they were like, oh, yeah, Five's not coming out for a while, like 2017. And then oh, I was like, really? oh, surprise. <laughs> Boom. Uh, I, no, it was right after they started. They, they did that merge with Sony, or they got that kind of like that deal. With well, that Sony. was it was that announced was like the with push, that right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was when they kind of made the push of like, oh yeah, this is happening it's like crazy. a lot sooner. Than when is the big March expected. update coming for that? 
By the end of the month. Okay. Right. The end, <laughs> the end of March. End of the month. Yeah. Might yeah. be the big April update. We'll see. Have I'm you seen, so concerned. Have you seen how they're going to try and combat rage quitters? Oh, by having people publicly shame them? <laughs> they're like recording them on a one by one basis. Yeah, That's, they need people to like say when it happens, they're going to go back and review like the tape and then <laughs> like get rid of their like Yeah, what a way to make currency. people feel comfortable <laughs> sidling up to your game, you know, like can you blame a, like, a, like a 13 year old kid who like, l- like doesn't want to lose and signs off? It's not like we're all grown adults playing yeah. this stuff and we need to be shamed. Like that kid's going to feel bad and he's probably not going to want to play anymore if Capcom publicly calls him out. <laughs> no, that's how you teach him a lesson, dude. That's how you yeah, teach. Yeah, sure. That's why you don't rage quit, That's how your kids. Yeah. yeah, you don't rage Tough quit. Affair. You sit there and You're you... You're going to put like photos of your kids on the fridge every time they rage quit a well, game. Well, like, <laughs> like, like, think, like think about it like you this. smoke that whole pack now. <laughs> let's, let's use like an analogy, right? Like do you hate... <laughs> Sorry, the other showing Mr. Wizard. The B-roll has suddenly shifted gears oh, to Mr. Wizard. <laughs> uh, for the podcast listeners, this is a uh, gentleman who seems to be cooking some sort of <laughs> pink egg in front of a gormless child you who doesn't need, know the slightest thing about thermodynamics. You really need the audio because kids say things and he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. If you listen to what I just said, <laughs> Man, Mr. Wizard was before oh the internet. He was before the internet, which was his time. Yeah, uh, just like this show was the best. Casting town on people. I was gonna say though, <laughs> like think about. I mean, I don't know if you would publicly shame them, but let's say you're playing a game of Rocket League, mm-hmm. right? Like, let's say I go four. I'm down four one with about two and a half to three minutes left. Yeah. Andy Bauman was infamous for wanting to forfeit right away, yes. which is the essentially a rage quit, yeah. right? Yeah. Without closing your application, I'm like, no, we're not doing that yet. Even if he thinks that they're better than us, but right? But the other like, team would get the points is the thing. Is that rage quitting, you don't win either, do you? I don't it's like think, yeah, you just get nothing. It yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. like kicks you out of the lobby. But that's beside the point. It's the principle. Yeah. You don't the do that. That's yeah. why you got to get shamed. But should right. a publisher they're, slash developer be calling people out? I don't know. Let us know what you think <laughs> in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs>